Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to the Brazilian Grand Prix at Inter Largos. Yes, F1 returns to Brazil, one of my favourite tracks on the calendar. This I absolutely love the Brazil Grand Prix. The fans are absolutely amazing, and they still chant Elton Sanna's name up into this day. It's absolutely incredible. High altitude circuit again, so you've got to say Max Verstappen is the favourite for this one. Now, the sprint qualifying for the sprint race will be 7 o'clock on Friday. And then the sprint will be someone in the on Saturday evening, our time. I think it's about 6 o'clock. Then the race on Sunday, 5 o'clock in the evening. So, yeah, some different times. But obviously in Brazil, the times are going to feel a bit different. But, yeah, I'm delighted we're back at this circuit. Because this is just such a legendary circuit. It really is. Fernando Alonso and Max Verstappen in the past made some epic things in this circuit. Just as you think they're going to spin out, they make an incredible thing, the both of them. Not at the same time, of course, but they've made incredible things here. Going into this weekend, high altitude, as I said, Max will be the favourite. Then obviously Mercedes will be looking to hopefully get a bit more performance out of their car. Because obviously, Max is in a very strong position and Mercedes need to get absolutely everything in these last four races this season. They really have. Lewis Hamilton needs a win this weekend. Otherwise, to me, it's going to be a lot of work to catch the staff and back up. But, you know, it's going to be absolutely sensational end to the season. It really is. Yes, I had my haircut at long last. It is growing really long, man, along the years. Oh, nightmare. But anyway, I had it cut now. But Ferrari, they outclassed McLaren and Mexico. Now will be looking to do that again. McLaren, Ferrari, sorry. Outclassing McLaren. Because McLaren just did not have an answer for Ferrari's pace in Mexico. They really didn't. And the Ferrari power unit is looking much better now. I mean, I wouldn't still say as quick as what the Mercedes and the Honda is. But it's getting there. They're going in a step in the right direction, Ferrari. And hopefully next season they can challenge the race victories. I really, really hope so. But... Also, Nikita Mazepin and Mick Schumacher at Haas, they'll be doing their usual positions. I think slicing it out for last and second to last because the Haas has just got absolutely no pace this year. And they said their main focus was on the 2022 car, which Mercedes, I think they've been putting their eggs, eggs into their basket and developing the 2022 Mercedes engine. I think they've only added one upgrade to this year, Mercedes, in the whole the F1 season. It's mad, but it just shows the commitment to how they feel that F1 should... I mean, what was I saying? I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, put their eggs into one basket, Mercedes. It's absolutely incredible how they've only developed the car once this year. That's what I saw. Well, yeah, because usually they develop it all the way through the season. But it could be an absolutely fantastic thing to do to just switch focus to next year's car because then it can be well prepared for all the regulation rule changes. So, qualifying prediction for this one. Well, there's sprint qualifying, qualifying, and the race. So, in the sprint qualifying, I'm going to predict Max has happened is on pole, Lewis Hamilton second, Calci Bottas third, Sergio Perez fourth, Charles Leclerc fifth. 
then in the sprint race, my prediction is Max Verstappen first, Lee Sounds in second, Gaudi to Bottas third, and then in the main Grand Prix, again, the same order, Max Verstappen first, Lee Sounds in second, Gaudi to Bottas third. Comment you thoughts down below, I will always reply. And F1 back in Brazil, absolutely buzzing, cannot wait for this one. Bye-bye.